one of the trends we're observing is teenagers, tweens, and increasingly, you know, older adults as well. When they're face to face with someone, when they're talking with someone, they're also texting, or they're also watching TV, or doing other things. They're they're distracted, and that turns out to have very important negative consequences, not just for our brains, for the way we think, for how well we do in school, how we do things like that, but also for our emotional lives, for the way we feel. Now, it turns out that. The human brain is built to really care about faces. So babies love faces. The human brain loves faces. If I show you a picture and there's anything like a face in it, we can show you, right? They'll immediately go to the face. So human brains love, love, love faces. And there's a lot of reasons why human brains love faces. One reason human brains love faces is that it gives me emotion and tells me whether you're friend or foe whether you're going to attack me or be nice to me. But if we don't pay attention, if we don't really look at someone in the face, we're not going to learn this stuff. Just like if you don't pay attention to math, it's hard to learn math. Don't pay attention to reading, it's hard to learn reading. Don't pay attention to anything, it's hard to learn. Well, emotions are the same way. If you don't pay attention to emotions, you're going to have trouble learning them. And if you have trouble learning them, that's going to affect you in every way. People who don't have good emotional intelligence turn out to have much greater rates of depression, have fewer friends, have less happy, they have less success in life, they make less money, they're less leaders, you name it. If you don't have emotional intelligence, you have lots and lots of problems. And the way we learn our emotional intelligence is by paying attention to other people.